Hello and welcome to the battle, the first person battle series of Space Engineers by your host Wolf and Ray. And today we're going to be taking a look at a ship I found on the workshop called the Dauntless, which is an exploration vessel. It's like the most heavily armed exploration vessel I ever found. Now normally I don't really go with ships that are uh, you know molded and like them too much but this ship I really like a lot so today we're going to be playing a first person battle survival battle with this ship as our exploration now we have a in, in you know in the other video there was the analyzing of the ship as to and well I don't know if this is going to be part one or part two however and the other one we will analyze the ship is how how good is it how good is it to actually fulfill its role and all of that stuff like that but in this part this is the battle phase now before I had a it, with the with the fighter craft I put it all in one video but it ended up being about an hour so I realized that the, the analyzing and the battle scene can actually run a long time together so I've decided to separate them so this we won't spend too much time taking a look at the ship we can take a look at the ship in further detail in the other video this video is just primarily how well does it perform in an actual battle first person survival what is, is it capable or is it kind of a dud so here I am in my in my cockpit right now one of the things that I notice is okay in this game in this you know the scenario is is that okay I dropped out of warp and warp engines were damaged we're not at our destination and the astronauts a little confused as to what's going on now I have some pretty good systems like okay we have you know some actual LC, you know, M Masters LCD, which is kind of standard. But we also have a lot of things which are just really more aesthetic, like this. This is aesthetic, right? Now, here's another thing. It, it doesn't really have many of these. Now, this here isn't actually come with the ship. I had to put that in there so I could, you know, put hydrogen in. But one of the things that I do like about this ship is that it's got two bridges. It's got the internal, it's got the bottom bridge, which is like a more heavily armored bridge. You can't see as well. But then, you have an upper bridge where you can see a whole lot better. And this is totally cool. And you also have an observation bridge, too, as well. There's like an observation bridge that we can go into further detail about you know in 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 the analyzing area now here pretty quick over the horizon is going to show up the bad guys and there they are right on cue and so what opposes us right well we have CY um ooh, this thing turns this thing turns great on gyroscopes but we have CY pirates and it's like one of the, the big the big carrier it's like a 20,000 block carrier behemoth with uh, holds like up to 19 or, or, or 12 fighters it also can hold two destroyer cruisers but I didn't bring those in the destroyer escorts because here's why this is more than enough with 12 fighters and in uh, this more than enough of a challenge we're never going to defeat this in this battle but part of this a part of the whole battle thing is how well does it survive how well is it like with emergency you know like if if we have to emergency our way out oh no let's shift up to the side oh that was so close Let's see if we can't, if we can't. Now, one of the things about this ship is it's really HUD dependent. Oh, see, this is where we were supposed to go, right there. It's, so, 
being HUD dependent means that uh, if you want any information, it's not provided for you. I mean, the only script that I see that it really has is M Master's script. So, you know, this is obviously a ship that will need to be controlled by more than one crew member because, you know, I mean, and it certainly provides for that because it has, you know, seats, people would be manning the guns, that sort of thing. But, you know, since... I have a hard time play, you know, getting people interested enough to do these multiplayer scenes with me. Actually, I get nobody interested in doing it. I just do these things myself and learn how to program. Like I program all of these drones to act and how they behave, and that's how come when I do my own builds, they're so script heavy because I have to pretty. I script my own ships. I script other ships because I generally think. Wait a second, there's somebody coming. Oh no, there's some missiles. Oh, that guy's a lot closer than I thought he was. We better, we gotta get off to the side. Look at all those missiles coming our way. I don't think we're gonna survive that kind of a barrage for long. I better, oh. I better keep him in my sights. I gotta keep that away from my bridge because I don't want to lose oxygen. Oxygen losing oxygen in first person survival is a big deal. I didn't really want to pass this close to the guy, but I guess we're in it now. So hopefully our guns don't get knocked out. It looks like we're doing okay. We're getting shot up big time. I think our armor's okay though, because clearly Oh, maybe our armor isn't okay because I clearly see one of our guns <laughs> our missiles flying flying away and that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Oh, we got. Oh, we got to get away from that guy. But we still have oxygen, which is amazing. So I'm pretty sure we lost a couple of. Uh... Oh, there's another impact. God, that thing is so big. There's no way we're going to defeat that. I did that on purpose, because. <laughs> Nobody attacks unless they have overwhelming force, you know. And I didn't expect that guy to be close. And here's the thing, in true pirate fashion, even though I have the antennas of the fighters on, I no no player would have his antenna on on his capital ship. He would have his antennas on on his on his fighters probably, but he would not have them on on his capital ship. It would make it harder for anybody to see him, you know. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's some clang going about. But we still have... I don't have time to even assess the damage. I wonder if we did any damage to him. It looks like uh, we might have did okay. Damage. I mean, I don't know if we knocked out any of his fighters. Let's get a let's get a tab. Okay, his fighters look like they want to be flanking. We I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He originally started out with eleven. So, did we knock out four fighters, or it's just four fighters not in range? But oh, okay, he's coming this way. So we gotta we gotta jet set. Let's see if we can't take out these fighters in, in the back. I'm having some steering troubles. Oh. These fighters are just staying right off to his side there, which is really making it hard. Because I don't want him getting anywhere near me with that overwhelming firepower. That, that hurt really bad. Oh, there's a fighter in the back. I think let's take that straggler. Okay, good, good, good. I, I think we got around him. So as you can see, 
in first person, you're gonna you're gonna employ. Oh, he's just got stragglers in the back. There they are. We, we didn't knock down any of their fighters, really. Oh, I don't like that clanging. You're going to employ a whole lot different tactics than you would in third person. For one, you're going to try to position your ship so that you're not going to get hit and lose oxygen. Or get killed through the cockpit, right? You're going to be in a cockpit where you can clearly see all around you. But just like in real life, in a fight, you're going to protect your head. You can totally see that depth, that perception is 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 key. Okay, I think that we're we're doing pretty good. We're gonna head up head up towards. There's these these guys over here. I think we might have knocked out a guy. But there's still three. Oh, looks like I brought some guns to bear, and it looks like I still got. Sounds like I still got guns. Clearly, I still got clang too. Okay, so three miles away. Looks like my... Wait a second. I'm pushing full forward thrusters. Oh, 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 oh I know why. I know why I was decelerating a little bit. It's because I kind of changed trajectory a little bit. So, we're still in the running. We're still in our first cockpit. I'm... Seriously, though, I think from that last uh, uh, attack, our bottom cockpit is probably gone. <laughs> I, I, I think that actually the cockpit that we're in, the other cockpit is probably not even an option. Okay, let's see if we can't tear this guy apart. Okay, well. Okay. Let's see, where, where are we at with, uh, is everybody behind us? Looks like we brought another, another gun online. Or another, or maybe they're shooting at us. Hmm. Let's see, what do we got? It looks like we might have knocked out a good portion of the fighters, because I only see, like, a... Oh. Okay, the big guy's adjusting course somehow. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh no, I better keep an eye on him. We want to stay outside of his range. We don't want that big guy coming into support. We want to knock out all of his little guys before we, t before we knock him out. If we go in straight to him, we don't we don't have fighter cover. And I think he knocked off our missiles, so we're going to be in kind of a dire straight situation anyways. Okay. Let's see. Oh no. Don't tell me that Okay. I think one of those fires fired upon us. going to do a strafing run. Yeah, they're firing upon us. See, I can see their bullets right there. Okay, hard bank. Oh, wait a second. That hard bank must have... Oh, this this is going to be a risky maneuver. Risky. Oh, oh there's those missiles. We got to evade those missiles. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. We lost oxygen. We got to get out of this 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 cockpit. Oh my gosh. I think this is the end, boys. <laughs> I really think this is the end. Sorry for my foul language. Oh, this is the end. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're done. We're done.
It is time to go. Time to go. <clears throat> we're a little hurt. And even though it may not look like it, we're running. We're running, running, running. We're done. Let's see if we can't escape with our life. Okay, we're good. Good, 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 good. Good. Oh, boy. The ship is buckling. Caving in. I've, I better close these uh, doors because any added protection is going to help because, you know, the body is frail, man. And, oh, I, I, I... That was a good maneuver on his part. Oh, good. Good. I wish there was an alarm system. The guy had, per, had, had made an alarm system. The guy could really hook it up. Okay, so, well, it looks like we don't have to... Can I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? Okay, so three. Obviously, we gotta take this merge block off. And we gotta turn this engine on. Okay, see you later. We are off in the escape hatch. Hold out as long as you can. Oh, we got away. We totally got away. No, well, I can't say we got away yet. <coughs> okay, I'm going to end this episode with a... with a third dimensional point of view because this is how... this is how this battle would end. With me escaping the escape patch as the, of course, the exploration vessel is successfully captured by the... Uh, by the pirates. Now I'm sure that the fighters would probably come after me but for the most part you know I'd be stranded in space so it'd be all about survival from here on out. Oh wait, what, what, what was that? Is that like a little rock? Or... Oh, there's a fighter trying to intercept me. So, okay. I don't think that it's going to hit me, to get me. We'll just continue in this third person because this isn't actually fighting. This is just the cinematic escape. So let me just get these off and we'll just watch the cinematic escape. This is a beautiful ship. As you can see, all around, everything about it. To make this scene possible, this ship had the escape hatches. And if it was crewed by more than one person... This clearly would be a capable ship because clearly I was able to do go toe to toe with a ship that was thrice its size, and only because you know the ship kind of outmaneuvered me was I able to um, you know well, well that was how I got defeated. So I hope you like these kind of videos because I'm making more of these first person survival battles. I'm tired of seeing third person creative battles where the ships are treated like toys and or like Mattel toys and you don't have any stakes invested. This one you have stakes like your life and how would your tactics be done in first person. So then the next episode I'm going to go through that ship and we're going to take a follow through and we'll evaluate what I think how, you know, its strengths and its weaknesses concerning first-person survival battles. But until then, I will say adieu. Please like and subscribe. If you want more of these kind of videos, I'm going to do them anyways, whether, whether you say something or not, but I would appreciate some feedback, okay? And maybe even some builds. If you got a build you want me to see how good it is in survival, give me a comment and let me give me a link as to where I might find that build. All right. I will... See you next time. Bye-bye.